Good morning, just wanted to make a quick video on our pruning this year. We did do some pruning already. Here's our pomegranate. If you see in our previous videos, you know that this tree was up by our roof. So we just topped it off right in there. And this is going to be more bush style. You can see our pomegranates just starting to ripen up. We're going to let those things hang probably for another month or so. Usually around citrus season, citrus harvesting season. Is usually the end of December, January, February, March, all that good stuff. So we're going to let those pomegranates, these are the wonderful pomegranates, that's the variety. We're going to let them ripen on the tree as long as possible. God willing, there aren't any bugs that get to them. But that's just how we pruned our, it's about two years old, this pomegranate. We had to prune it again. So pomegranates do love that hot, hot sun in Arizona. So don't be afraid of getting yourself a pomegranate tree and they do thrive pretty well. You can see it's underneath that mulch. We did not prune our fig because it's producing its main crop right now. You can see right there. Here in Arizona, we'll probably be able to eat those. They'll ripen up. In fact, some of them are ripening up right now. I'll show you that right here. Hopefully the birds don't get to it, but you can see that darker one right there. That one is ready for breakfast right now. We pruned our guava. This little guava finally is pushing through that summer singe. Just got singed during the heat. So we're not gonna prune it just yet. The summer did the pruning for us. Here's our Santa Rosa plum. We just topped it off. Keep the, keeping the size control. And you can see our apple tree. This is our honey crisp apple. It's got a lot of fruit spurs on it. We're hoping for some flowers. Maybe an apple. Maybe an apple. We don't know. And then of course our lemon tree. We pruned out all of the excess growth that didn't have any fruit on it. And we kept all the branches that have the fruit on it. You can see it's just loaded up with sweet lemons. This is our Pomona sweet lemon. And uh, so we pruned off, we topped it off. None of those top branches, and you see in the previous videos, this tree was 15, 20 feet tall for a dwarf lemon tree. So they will get away on you if you don't prune them. So we just pruned off everything that does not have fruit so we can encourage some fall growth. And we'll do it again in the springtime so that we get that spring growth. And that's where all the lemons are going to come out of is that spring growth. All right. So that's what we did for our pruning. Of course, we pruned all of our pepper plants down. And you can see they're already starting to push out new growth. They're enjoying this nice cool weather. Basil went to town, pruned it down, controlled it, propagated it, stuck it in a pot, started watering it, and started producing another basil plant. Pruned our hot peppers. Hot peppers are loving that pruning. Now they're just pushing out all kinds of new growth. Look at that, loving it. All right. So that's what we did for our pruning. Sorry, I didn't get it on video. March, no. What is this? This is October. October has been incredibly busy for us. So we weren't able to get a whole lot of video footage out. But I just wanted to show you what we did for our pruning. This is just size control. This is how we prune our small space, tightly planted trees. You can do this anywhere. We're doing this in our little corner of our backyard. We call this our grove. We've got seven fruit trees back here, all growing about two feet apart. All right. Thanks for watching. Cheers.